guys, here I have HTC Desire 626S. As you can see, where is a Google Log account on the screen. Here I have HTC2 clip, as you can see. Uh, using that clip, I will remove factory reset protection. Oh, actually, it's uh, also known like Google account log. So here on the screen, you see the HTC2 clip software on the top you can see it's a version 118 and in that version they introduced the feature to remove FRP it's here on the screen and uh, to do this you should first we will go to SD mode editor actually we can do that read phone information already I uh, ah, hold on a second so first at the beginning as you can see the phone is okay uh, for some reason that thing popped up here so I will do that and that it means well the USB debugging will be active now if you didn't get that prompt to switch USB debugging you need to reset the phone just press power button and hold it will ask you for restart the phone and you press restart and hold volume down button until you see the bootloader mode on the screen okay in my case I believe I got the USB debugging and look on the screen I will press read phone information I hope it can fetch the data here you can see CID, you can see model number, platform, etc. Okay, so to proceed first we need to, where is the thing, ASD mode editor, okay, and we need to do a solve. To achieve a solve on the phone, as you can see here it's set to security of a solve, I do that. It means that thing will be active and I press save to drive. To make sure what you have right drive here, you can see removable on the left, removable disk, it's G, right? So when we go back to software, you can see click drive here is G also, right? In case it's not the G drive, you will do redetect drives, okay? So now I just will recap. You check that box new security, it's set to security off and we press button save to drive. Okay. Now it wrote the information on the clip here and we need to disconnect it. I believe it's much better to disconnect it in an appropriate way, like right click here and I do eject. I don't wanna many files on the disk on that clip so I prefer that way uh, next thing here we need to reboot the phone to FTM mode it's here that button it's referred to factory but test mode before to do this I will as you can see where is a USB connector and uh, I need to connect clip to the phone and there is a SD card slot and as you can see here that thing really very similar to SD card so act gently because that cable doesn't look really tough so it could break easily I believe so I will just push that thing in place it should click actually for some reason it doesn't let me kind of do this I just hope that okay it's in place now I will press FTM button on the screen
and font should go to FTM mod. Let's wait a little bit. Let's see. Okay, here you can see HTC FTM mode, factory test mode here. What we need to do, where is the menu, scene lock tool, right? So I will press volume button a couple of times. And I press power button now. It will read the information from the XTC clip. On the button you can see something it did FTM UI, choose an item tool, load in scene lock tool, fail to enable scene lock. Now I will do device info tool. It uh, refresh the information about the form and I can reboot to what loader. I expect to see security off now. As you can see on the top now it says S off. It was S on before. And now uh, on the screen I will go to FRP tab. Here you can see and where is a button remove FRP. On the right you can see the log. It says success FRP protection was removed. On the phone, you can see here it's still the same screen. I will press reboot. Meanwhile, I will also remove the XTC clip. So start, next, I already configured Wi-Fi to connect. Now as you can see it doesn't say verifying, it says add your account, I want to skip that part. Before skip button didn't, wasn't there. Now we can skip it and there is no FRP anymore. So you can use the same tool to unlock from the network, any HTC I believe, or most of them. So if you like my video, please press on like button and share with your friends. Thank you very much for watching.